हेलो आई एम प्रोफेसर जहूर एक्सटीन फैकल्टी ऑफ फाइन आर्ट जामिया मिलिया इस्लामिया यूनिवर्सिटी न्यू दिल्ली इन दिस डेमोस्ट्रेशन आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू यूज पेन देर आर डिफरेंट ग्रेड्स ऑफ पेंसिल I will be using 3 4 grades of pencil here. I will give a demonstration of how to start a painting or airbrush painting with proportion and light and shade. It is around 9 o'clock in the morning. One can see the beautiful shadows, cool colors and light and shade. Choose an area you want to paint. start drawing the basic structure on the drawing sheet usually the horizon is drawn after leaving 3/4 of the sky space the vertical lines are the sides of the building and the small squares in them are indicating the windows On the right side of the tallest lines are the trees. John Berger has rightly said that drawing is a way of coming upon the connection between things just like metaphor in poetry reconnects what has become separated Let's start by darkening the darkest part one can see gradation in line can show the light and shade by putting a dark patch how easily one can add the perspective on the two dimensional surface The texture of the paper also helps in adding a character to the drawing. The trees or brushes look most interesting with the haphazard lines.
no confined shape adds to their playful character. It is not necessary to bring out each and every details of what you are looking at. A few strokes can bring out the space, division and the basic structure. Three tones are important factor in making any drawing. The dark, black, the light, white and middle to grey. By keeping in mind, these three tones are moving and pencil accordingly helps in bringing 3D effect on a 2D surface. The more dark a tree is, the more heavy and dense it looks. Put less pressure on the tip of the pencil. and one can shade lightly. Slowly, one can start adding the windows to the building structure. and bring out the depth by applying dark tone. The basic technique is either to mark the lightest parts first or fill up the dark parts. and then add middle tone. It is easier to turn light to dark than to erase the darkness. Keeping the tip of the pencil flat can cover up a wider area by making flat strokes. Make impression roughly of the foliage and then keep on darkening the portions as per the need of the scenery.
The sky is being made by slanting strokes and with less pressure on hand to show a lighter tone. The more you keep on filling it, the darker it will become. One can see beauty in abstraction. There is no outline, yet one can make out the basic structure. A drawing is composed by different strokes, hard, soft, dark and light. It is easier to turn the grey portion to dark one with little hard strokes. Maximum use of lines of different types like slanting, vertical, horizontal and crisscross can be done to create numerous textures and depict varied areas. By darkening the area behind the wall, a background is created. One can make out the perspective. The black behind the building is showing the heavy foliage. And highlighting the building in contrast to the dark tree. The grey tone on the wall can help in creating shadows and a little darkness close to the trunk of the tree can bring it closer in the foreground. A few zigzag lines at the base give impression of the bushes and wild growth. Shaded portion on the wall are the shadows of the tree falling on it. To give abstract impression, use the pencil flat but to bring out the details in an object or a shape one can use the pencil from its tip. Adding more and more darkness will add depth to the growth of the trees. The vision will travel inside and then lead to the light falling on the outer bunch of leaves.
द स्ट्रोक विल टेल द फॉलो ऑफ द विंड एंड इट्स डायरेक्शन द टेंगल बशेज द चैटिक अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द लीव्स intermingled trees and play of light shade and wind can be easily depicted by the lines one can make out a difference between the uniformity of the building and unruly character of the trees just by the game of texture created by the lines and their shade calmness of the atmosphere and even the mood of the day can be captured by lines one can see the colors in a black and white sketch Like Henry Meta is said I want to reach the state of condensation of sensations which constitutes a picture The areas in the foreground needs to be darker than the one away to create a perspective one can see there is no hard and fast rule being used in sketching and the strokes yet there is a rhythm and balance which comes with practice the dark is going darker and gray is being added to the white the eye can catch the wildness of the background Criss cross use of the pencil adding more shadows Next to the wall a few lines are the impression of more plants Drawing not only reflects the ability of an artist but also the experience which makes him sense and unwanted elements what to add and what to keep to create apt environment darker the line more depth it will create and even will add a hard character to the object just add a little dark patch create an illusion no details are required like jeff koon says if i try to articulate every little detail in drawing it would be like missing the forest for the trees so it's just about getting a outline of the forest drawing is an immediate way of articulating an idea of making a gesture that is both physical and intellectual
the darkened part is helping in bringing out a bush ahead of the other and also creating a groove of the bush behind perhaps i might be satisfied momentarily with a work finished at one sitting but i would soon get bored looking at it therefore i prefer to continue working on it so that later i may recognize it as a work of my mind William Strange says vigorous writing is concise a sentence should contain no unnecessary words a paragraph no unnecessary sentence for the same reason that a drawing should have no unnecessary lines and a machine no unnecessary parts When one tries to finally analyze a drawing it is simply no longer a drawing it has gained a symbolic character very aptly paul klee said the more profoundly the imaginary lines of projection meet higher dimensions the better Drawing is not a way to come up with pictures. It is a way to educate one side to understand the visual information. when one keeps on observing a thing of one
the vision changes and one starts looking at the things in a different perspective perception changes from a general to extraordinary while drawing different views keep up coming to mind Dr. Sure says that I start drawing and eventually the characters involve themselves in a situation. Use soft eraser to smudge a few areas and to highlight the well lit parts. Then in the end I go back and try to cut out most of the breachments. what a contrast it will create between the dark background full of trees and the light falling on the building
which are speaking for themselves in the abstract environment. Raising the area closely has brought out its clear shape. See how by experience one can make out an impression of a stool by just two lines. I would like to give a final touch to the drawing with the thought of Chuck Jones. The whole essence of good drawing and of good thinking perhaps is to work a subject down to the simplest form possible and still have it believable for what it is meant to be.